coming up on the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Podcast. Join Hollywood talk about ways to acquire funds for a garden. Their garden tip of the week. In gardening news, what is Dr. Oz saying about organic food? You'll be shocked by his response. Their guest this week, she's an international speaker, front yard gardener, and garden guru, Shauna Coronado, will be on the program. The link is in the show notes and will be live December 5th, 6 a.m. Central Standard Time on BePreparedRadio.com and downloadable from iTunes. Sponsored in part by DollarSeed.com for your flowers, vegetables, and herbs. All organic seeds, all only a dollar a pack. DollarSeed.com and by WillSpringsSoap.com. Handmade soaps with simple recognizable ingredients, making soaps using the cold kettle process while using traditional methods. WillSpringsSoap.com Winchester Gardens with their line of new 100% all organic fertilizer for the home gardener. Visit Winchester Gardens at WGardens.com for a store near you. Welcome to Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Extra. I'm Holly Baird. So today we're going to be making our own pasta. It's something that's simple that you can make. It cooks really fast and it's it's a delicious alternative to buying box pasta. So in my mixer I have two cups of flour and I'm actually just using whole wheat pastry flour. It's like an all-purpose flour. And then I have a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that a little stir here. And I'm using my dough hook attachment to, to make the dough. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is stir it up and I'll make a well. So you make a well to put the egg in. And I have two eggs that I have beaten slicely. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour that in there. Okay, so now I've got that in there, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a stir. And as it's stirring, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of water. I might need to help it along a little bit here. So then I'm going to add some oil. Okay, so let me... Feel this out here. You want the dough so that it's going to be pliable so you can roll it out. We're, we're going to use our pasta machine. So you just have to wait until it gets to kind of the right consistency. And you also have to wait, make sure it's well combined with all the ingredients. Okay, so that's exactly where we want it. You want it to kind of represent, if you've ever made scones where you combine the butter and you, um, what's it called, fold the butter into the dough with like a pastry blender, that's kind of what you want. So you just want it until it's well combined. It's not going to turn into a big ball of dough like if you're going to make bread. So what I do is I take it out and put it onto a floured surface. And I can set this all set this all aside. And then I just take it and I combine it with my hands. 
if at this point it's still feeling too dry, I can always add more water to to get it to the right consistency. So what you want to do is you want to just knead the dough. I add a little bit more water because I do want just to be a little bit more sticky. I don't make pasta um, very often, so it's kind of hard to remember at times. So if you make it a lot, then that's good. Um, maybe we should make it more. So this is what I've done here. And you just knead it each. I did two different bowls so that it was easier to manage. You just knead it for about three to five minutes. Okay, so I've got the pasta machine set up while I let the dough rest a little bit. And what you want to do is I took it down to about a quarter of the original size I had. So it's just easier to manage. I have my pasta machine set at seven. If you don't have a pasta machine, all you have to do is just take a rolling pin and you just simply roll it out to your desi desired thickness that you want. And then you can just use a knife to cut it. Sometimes I'll go through and I'll do this step twice. Okay, so now we've ran this through, and sometimes you can run it through the main portion three or four times. I think we did this five times so that you can get it nice and smooth so that it's not all flaky. And so we, this is the amount of dough that we had that made this one sheet of pasta. So then what we do is we put the cutting attachment on, and you just switch your handle over. We got this machine for our wedding. Um, I think it came from Bed Bath & Beyond or JC Pens. That's where we registered at. So either of those places. Um, and what you do is you just put it, we're going to do a, uh, a fettuccine. There's a fettuccine option and then an angel hair option. And then it turns to the right. Or this one does. And then you just put it in there. And then as you're going, if you need to stop to lead it out, you just want to make sure you stop so that the handle's going towards the bottom there. And then you just keep going. So then what I do is I take it and I fold it kind of in the middle and then I put it on um, my tea towel in the back of my chair. It just helps because otherwise the noodles kind of stick together so it helps keep them a little bit dry and it keeps them from sticking together so that when you put them in the water they don't just all clump up. We have the water starting to boil on the stove. So while we're waiting for the water to get to its boiling point, I just want to tell you about some things we have going on here at the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. We have a real quick anonymous two-minute survey on our website, and I'll be right at the top of our website, which is the same as our name, thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com. Then we also have a new podcast that we're doing. It's a quick little 10-minute podcast that we're doing ourselves, and it's going to be out every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time, and it's on the website right now, and you'll find it on there and it's just we're just for new gardeners old gardeners just it's going to be some garden information that's pretty much what it's going to be about the other thing we have going on is we're going to have a google hangout every other friday and so we invite you to come to our google hangout it's not going to be about us it's going to be about gardening growing your own food learning different things just gardeners getting together and talking about what we love to do and you can find our google hangout page it's the wisconsin vegetable gardener google hangout and it's on friday at 8 p.m central time and we'll have that in the show notes as well. So we'll have our survey there. We'll have our information about the podcast, our new podcast. And then we'll also have, and we still have our old podcast, and we'll also have information about our Google Hangout. So you can feel free to check that out, and we encourage you to join it. So it sounds like our, our water is boiling. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it over on the stove. Okay, so now the water is boiling. You just want to take the pasta. I like to do it in kind of batches because it boils really fast or cooks really fast. You just put it in there. As you can see, they kind of puff up because of the egg, and then they really get to float, and they, as you can see, they're done. So I'm just going to take them, put them on the plate. And this is a good chance if you made any pasta sauce with your tomatoes, definitely you want to use that because it tastes really good with the, the homemade pasta. 
So there you have it. Two nice servings of homemade pasta, made pretty easily, and it's ready for your own homemade sauce. If you like what you see, please, you know, subscribe, leave a comment. And again, my name is Holly Baird, and this has been a Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Extra. For more organic gardening, visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.